Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to cover file upload scenario in JMeter. So in many scenario, it is required to upload a file on the server. Example could be like if I'm working on a Gmail and I want to send an email with some attachment. So there we need to attach a file means we are uploading a file to the server. So many scenario we are going to face where we are going to upload a file on the server. So we need to automate that file uploading scenario in JMeter. So I'll show you how we can do that. For this scenario, I'm going to work on a website with the name angular-file-upload.appspot.com. So here we can upload our file. So I'll show you how this is going to be work. So I'm just giving username testing word and choose file. We can choose any file. I'm just going to my desktop and choosing one file over here. So that's a bdd.png. So I'm submitting. It has uploaded my file successfully on the server. I need to perform this scenario in JMeter. So first of all, I'm going to do a recording of this scenario. In this scenario, if you notice, I'm going to open this page and then we are going to upload a file and then submit. We are going to enter username, but this username process is not going to make any request to the server. So we'll not get any recording for this step. And then we'll upload a file and submit to the server. So that will be the scenario. Before moving forward, so I'm just moving to the JMeter and here I'm going to create a thread group. Here inside the thread group, I'm going to create some logic controller. So I'm using simple logic controller. So I'm just selecting simple controller that is for open URL and that is one more logic control I'm going to use upload file we have already seen a recording on in our previous video so I'm not going to explain the recording over here but I'll majorly concentrate on the uploading a file uploading a file part so I'm going to the workbench and now I'm adding a HTTPS test recorder here on which port you want to record by default it's double eight double eight so we need to do the same setting on the Firefox as well so I'm opening the Firefox browser and it's always a good practice to clear the history of the browser because we have multiple plugins which are working behind the scene they may they may also send some requests to the server which will be recorded so I just want to clear the history so I'm doing everything I'm clearing here also I want to remove my temp <coughs> data I have just removed the temp data as well now we are ready for the recording but before that we need to set network setting here on the browser so I'm just going tools and here we have the option options here in the options we have advanced option there we have the network setting and here we want to set connection so i'm coming here and a manual proxy local host 8888 because there we are using a double eight double eight port i'm just keeping it same and okay so everything is done on the browser side now i want to pick the url so that's my url which i want to record I'm coming to JMeter now in the recording I where you want to record so I want to record in open URL first I want to record open URL so I'm selecting on this logic controller I want to record open URL request I'm starting the recording so it's going to start the recording yes I will allow the access I'll accept certificate so everything is done now I'm coming to the browser and first I'm opening that URL. So request is going to the server and we are going to get response. If we notice on the JMeter, that is recorded over here. Now next part, I want to record in my next sampler, which is upload file sampler. So I've selected upload file. So next 
whatever the task we are going to perform next, it will be stored into the upload file. I'm just going to enter username. So my testing word, one thing which is most important for whatever the file you want to upload, you need to keep that file in your JMeter bin folder. So I'm just taking like, I want to upload this bdd.png. So I need to keep this file inside my JMeter. So if you know that we have a JMeter folder inside that we have a bin folder. So I need to keep that file over here bdd.png. I want to upload this file. Now I'm coming here and going to the location like e drive JMeter Apache JMeter 3.1. Inside that I'm going to the bin and selecting that file and click on the submit. As I click on the submit, it is going to upload and once it is uploaded, we are getting upload successful. And if you notice over here in the JMeter, this upload request is recorded. So everything is done. We have uploaded a file successfully and we have recorded this scenario as well. I'm just going to stop the recording. So I'm going to the JMeter side and stop the recording that is done also because i have used this browser and i don't need this proxy setting anymore so i'm going to the browser and uh, taking proxy to the same level like it was on a i'm going to the advanced network setting and no proxy i don't want to use any proxy now everything is recorded and your jmeter script is created With that few things that we need to Change over here, one thing that we can add cookie and the cache manager. As when we are working on a browser, so it might be possible many cookies and cache value is coming from the server. So I want to make, I want to make real time scenario and in real time this scenario will take place on the browser. So I want to implement the browser functionality. In browser we already have the cookie and the cache. So I am adding here config element cache manager. I'm taking it at the top and in the same way I'm going to config element and that is cookie manager. So I have added cookie manager and cache manager. Now it's up to you. You want to clear the cookie for the each iteration means whenever you are going to execute it will clear the cookie and will use it as a new browser. So this setting is is used when we want to work as a new browser you can keep it like clear the cookies so I'm just clearing cookies and a cache before the each request now I'm coming to the open URL here you will notice many requests are going to the for the JavaScript like this 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 and the CSS JavaScript and CSS are working on a browser and also CSS is working to display HTML on the browser properly display HTML on the browser in performance testing, we don't care about displaying something on the browser. So if you want, you can remove this JS and CS, CSS. And it's not mandatory to remove, it's up to you. So now open URL is showing correct. Now I'm going to the file upload. So here the file upload. If you notice that shows, that's a username and that's a file name. And that's a one more request. Everything is done. I'm just adding a listener over here. So I'm using view result pre listener. All the things are done. I'm just going to save this plan. So I'm saving file upload. Save it and just run it. So now because I have set four threads, so four users are working on it. And if you notice over here, so my file is uploaded because that is uploading a file with the name bdd.png and that file is uploaded because we are getting success message. And if you want to check like HTML document, so here the file is uploaded successfully. So everything is done and we are able to upload the file successfully over here. In this session, we have seen a basic scenario of the upload file. In next session, we will go for a bit complex scenario of the upload file process. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video. Hello all. Hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, 
regarding this video please ask in the comment section and also please like and subscribe for more software testing courses also we are offering a wonderful package of software testing online video courses in dollar 200 find us on facebook for more offers and updates here is the url facebook.com testing word india